it, uh, the first thing we're going to go through is planks. So planks are designed to really work on your core. They're an exercise you can easily do if you're watching TV or you can put in uh, as a part of your conditioning exercises. I'm going to show you a couple of different variations here. The key with planks is that you want to tighten your glutes and keep a straight back and breathe while you're doing them. So you could start like this or you could be like this. Key is that you're breathing, tight glutes, and you're tightening your core. Start at about 50 seconds, go to about um, a minute, and then as you get stronger, you can do more. But make sure you're breathing. A couple of different variations. It could go back and forth from your hands to your elbows. But again, keep those glutes tight. And this is a great exercise for your core. Another variation could be side planks where you're leaning on your elbow. Again, glutes are tight. Just a straight line from your ankles and your feet all the way up. You can keep your arm up, keep it at your side, but you're gonna feel this really working right in here. As you get stronger, you could do something with your leg up, but make sure you're breathing. So those are different variations of planks. All right, another couple exercises that we can do to really strengthen our hips is with resistance bands. So the first one we're gonna do, you're gonna keep your, uh, start with your feet about shoulder width apart. And the key with this is keeping your glutes tight, your core tight, you bend your knees a little bit, and it's very small movements with this. So it's just lateral movements and you're gonna be working the sides of your hips here. So keep your head up and you're just gonna go out and a little bit in. We're not going all the way over. We're just making a small adjustment that way. Back and forth. Back and forth. Like this. 50 seconds and you will really feel it work in your hips. Make sure you keep your glutes tight and your core tight for this one. Never go further in than shoulder width apart. So we're going to do that for 50 seconds. Then another one we can do that will actually work the back of our hip here. We're going to take a slightly less um, uh, tight or taut resistance band. We're going to bring this one over our knees. You might have to Hold on to something here when you first start these. Again, we're gonna have our feet about shoulder width apart. And with this one, we're gonna keep our legs straight. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our foot back or our leg back about 45 degrees. Might be hard to hold, uh, maintain your balance. So if you have to slightly hold something, you can, but you don't want to cheat. And you don't want to bring this foot to touch the ground. We're just going back at about a 45 degree angle. And we'll do each side 50 seconds. And you'll really start to feel that behind in your hips here. So do each side. So those are two different really good uh, resistance band exercises that will really help work your hips.